hi um so it's tahia uh, here and we are back with another tutorial on um, how to be a business analyst and this one is the question list but another version so this is the follow-up question list after you have sent the first one to the customer and say reply and so this is um, the file for requirement and licitation um, based on the information that they have uh, replied to you and so without further ado let's so um the first one regarding the format um the um, this column here would be the same but um for this we would have two additional columns so this one is follow up question and follow up answer that's it right um next to the question and the answer i mean the orig original one and so here we will put the question list um, the updated question list here but you can be creative with it you can put it um, under the question you can add more column but this is how i normally do it because i think it's pretty neat um than the other one okay so the first thing here is that we will change the status uh, to you know close first and if you have like new um question it will be changed to open again okay so looking at the question reverse question so is it app available on both yes so here when um, the customer suggest ask you to suggest him about the uh, program language uh, you can consult the technical lead but i would for example after i got the answer i would say i would suggest react native for mobile um, to save cost because we have both ios and android and yeah graph thing up here and here customer demographic target okay location city how many language does this app support english and chinese okay so next we have the screen does app support all screen solution yes okay um landscape mode no it's so perfect no okay so um he's very straight to the point here Let's see, does this app have the admin bottle? Come with it. Yes, please suggest the feature. Um, okay, so for example, if he answer like this, um, let's take a look at our app. Okay, so the link to the design can be found in the description. So you can go and check that out. Um, so here we would have like um, the delivery app. So we would have the order, um, the dispute, component and also um, some sort of tracking regarding the order okay so with this one I would say um, first we would have um, the first one would be authentication as you know um, and then we would have like the order tracking yeah and the dispute center if there are any dispute between the end user and the provider okay you can have the payment um, here okay so if you have more time you can uh, put more information in, into this answer and here will be the authentication will be auto scrolling behavior three picture carousel okay so uh, what he mean is that uh, so um, see picture um, there would be three fixed picture here okay um, okay so you can say that so I assume it will be auto scrolling and uh, no behavior when the, the user touch it. Okay, so next, um, signing off. 
okay so regarding the signing up through a valid email he didn't answer yes so you would open this one again next we would have any rules related to the password at least a character okay this one is very clear um, next we have require is required to log into the app to log in to place an order user need to log in to place an order uh, but they can skip it so which means that you can suggest something like um, so I would when the user place the order but not but he hasn't logged in yet he will be directly directed to the um, login screen okay next we would have do you need to check if the user enter uh, a valid email in the forget password so if he yes which means that uh, when they insert the email you have to the app should call an api in order to verify if the email is valid or not <coughs> mm, render from the admin portal so if he said that the popular food category which is the category here is um, render from the api so it means that here we would have um, the category management okay um, application personalization something like that next the food by detail what is the behavior associated with add to car animation to let user know that the item has been up okay so i guess that when uh, you click the add to car um, it will there be some sort of animation go from here to the uh, car mm. we'll flow um, the button to the card icon okay next we would have the address so is the delivery address need to be verified through a room map endpoint okay so if you say yes um, so based on my personal experience you know that every time you call and google map abi it will cost you um, a few cents um, so you need to notify your customer about this one okay so you just say that um, every time um, call to Okay, you can look at, um, you can look up the internet and provide the um, true cost for him. It would be better, but it's good to notify your customer. Next, we have the menu. So, as the privacy page and the help page setting, yeah. So, is that yes? Mm, so, you will need you can something like um, the page are missing please um, provide a the design for the estimate process next we have the order history <coughs> is a any order at the order that being de delivered hasn't been made yet um, so this one is a little bit value here the order hasn't been made could be the draft um, kind of Order. for example you go to this restaurant and you have some item in the cart but for some reason you just uh, go to another um, restaurant and book uh, and you know have another order um, and so the previous one would go to the truck just for confirmation uh, we include the truck um, order and the um, one that are being delivered okay 
next we have the payment so how many payment methods are supported uh, in this app he said that how many can you support uh, you can go on stripe um, in order to find the list of um, things that stripe can support um, okay this one you can say that um, we our company specialize in stripe payment so we can support um, debit and mastercard um, and other such as uh, union and um, union pay and uh, something said this is pay or something yeah you can go to the stripe document and find out more information about this one to provide your customer uh, and here we have the for adding the payment method I would suggest using the form in order for the party okay so yes um, require less effort in uh, more secure more security Okay, so next we have when the payment is successful and the user click OK, he said navigate to home page. Yes, okay, so this one is clear. So somehow we have uh, have the open uh, the follow up question. Um, we can take a look at this one to see some other questions that you forgot to include from the reverse question list. For example, you can see here uh, we forget to see if um, how many um, item can you add in this one okay mm, and the payment method here um, so you can ask if the payment method are the one that the user has integrate um, into the account for example if he has like paypal mastercard um, he can add principle here is for later use okay so that could be a question so for this one because this is not a follow-up question you would have to create a new um, round here for example the last one is from the um, detail page so you can add a line between this um, okay here you can have this as the 15 locked one you can say that how many item maximum can be added in this page add to the car I think I think um, I would change my wording here how many um, Okay, so some bad wording here, so I would change the question. So you can say that, um, is there any rules uh, regarding the uh, number of items for an order? So you can put a note here, for example, um, can from 0 to 99 um, hamburger added to a car and for the payment um, here you can have um, things like that okay so 19.1 um, you say that so the car um, in the screen I think it's the screen um, 24 are pre added and can be chosen later for uh, making a payment. Here, this one is open. Okay, so I think it's pretty comprehensive. 
So um, we would have to change some information uh, here. So first, regarding the status, if um, the we have the follow question, we will change that to open in progress. Sorry, progress. Um, games we would have here in progress. Okay, so this one is not actually a question, so uh, you would need to close. Then we would have close here. Okay, so this one hasn't been all answered. You, you would add as open. Mm. Let's see, and for the close, you can um, hide it so that it would. Uh, the, the the author can know where to focus close here okay so this one has the component here so I would not hide this one and next we would change the title um, as it is the follow up question list we would, bet we would have the version as number two uh, the effective date today is the uh, September so it is the uh, chosen in 21 here for that okay and save um, so okay so it's look nice and clean now um, this version um, is ready to be sent to the customer so yeah so this is the tutorial on the follow-up question list um, so stay tuned for the other tutorial the next um, I would do the feature list and also the WBS and some etiquette when sending the email. So stay tuned and see you in the next video. Bye.